afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Let's talk about the Kamasa SX-15 uh, power loss. A sneaky power loss. No codes. Um, pretty much, you just drive a truck and you have no power in the truck, but you have no codes and no way to diagnose it. So a lot of times, if you go look up power loss on the Kamasa SX, everybody's talking about the IMAP sensor is located right there and then the air and ambient temperature sensor which is located right there but it's fine and dandy but uh let's get to the point see so those two sensors yes they do give you a, a power loss but here's the thing that nobody talks about so that sensor the air and ambient temperature sensor the imap sensor you got your crankcase position sensor which is located right there, okay? The crankshaft position sensor and the camshaft position sensor, which is located on the other side. So all those five sensors work together. And if one of those sensors is not getting a five volt signal, you will get a power loss without a code. So you gotta make sure if all those sensors are working correctly. And if one of them is not working correctly, it will give you a power loss. Another thing that gives you a power loss without a code is a turbo speed sensor. So all you do is follow this wire right here. And that wire goes to that sensor right there. And that sensor is your speed sensor for the turbo. And that will give you um, a power loss as well. Now, if you get a D-rate, in most cases, a D-rate will give you a power loss as well. So that right there is your exhaust pressure sensor. That is your delta P sensor. And then the exhaust back pressure sensor. I've seen in some cases that one of those sensors go bad, like for example, this sensor will go bad, but it won't throw a code, and your truck is already in a D-rate or power loss mode, but there's no code to diagnose it, so you have to take it to a dealer. And if you don't have the Cummins Insight, you're not gonna know what it is causing it. So the best way to do it is, it's a 27 mil socket, unplug this, Take the sensor out, and if it's full of suck, clean it with a carburetor cleaner, put it back in, it should work and get you from point A to point B. So, just so you guys know what causes power loss when it comes to sex without a code, that should be it. Now we can go back to it. So now everybody see it one more time. d ray power loss. Exhaust back pressure sensor, delta pressure sensor, and exhaust pressure sensor. Turbo speed sensor. Those sensors cause that. Another thing is, if those other five sensors are not getting a five volt signal, which is your cam, that's your camshaft position sensor. We'll go around because these five sensors work together and they share a common signal together. That's your crank, your crank, uh, crank case position sensor, the IMAP, and the air ambient temperature sensor. Those five se sensors work together. Just make sure you know that. Another thing is like if your throttle body's bad and you're stepping on the gas pedal and it takes a long time for the truck to take off, either this is stuck open or stuck closed. So make sure you check that. And uh, that also causes a power loss as well. And if it's not this, it should be the throttle position sensor which is 
this whole assembly. You just gotta take that out and get through all of this. So normally, those are the causes of power loss so that everybody knows. Without a code, if you don't have a code, check all of that before going to a dealer and spending all money on parts and stuff. Hope this helps somebody out. Have a great day.